All right, this is gonna be a one take. Only 105 Di2 first reactions. So I read the Cycling News article this morning, as probably most of you did, and I was shocked by two things. Number one, that it's how expensive it is, and number two, uh, that it's electronic only. Now, I knew it was gonna be 12 speed, I knew it was gonna be electronic, I already made a video about that. It was quite obvious that it had to in order to keep up with Rival, but I think what wasn't obvious was the abandonation or abandoning of rim brakes. That obviously is a rim brake diehard fan is is distressing to be expected. You know, it is gonna come to an end, but I don't think it was gonna come to an end this soon. And I also think that's the same with mechanical shifting. I think it's very surprising that Shimano, okay, they might still make 105 um, R7000, but the fact the newest one is not mechanical, I think is a big shock because there's still a market for mechanical uh, at you know a 1500 to 2000 pound bike range there's a definitely a market, unless DI2 is really that cheap. But we'll get onto the pricing of the DI2 105 in a bit. But yeah, I just think it's very odd not to have mechanical. I can understand you don't want to make 12 speed mechanical because that's a lot of effort. You haven't done with any of your other bikes. It would actually be, if anything, like sort of more complex than um, Dura Race, like 12 speed, because I assume 12 speed isn't very complicated on the electronic. You just have the motor shift a slightly different distance. Um, but yeah. Very interesting that they've done that because I think mechanical shifting is still around. Um, and I think the other reason why it's so interesting is it creates a massive gap between Tiagra and 105. Like Tiagra now is 10 speed mechanical, not very good, are like very entry bi level bikes only. Well, 105 is like good enough that, you know, you race on it, whatever. It's like fine. Like it's the same, in my opinion, it's basically the same as mechanical jury. It's like it's, you know, it works. It's good stuff. It's heavy a little, it's a little bit heavy, but it's not too bad. But now, no one's going Tiagra. Like, if, if you're gonna spend a bit of money, like, the thing is, like, you might have a 2K bike come with 105, that's okay. 2K bike with Tiagra, that's just tears. Like, that chain set is, like, a million kilos. So that's pretty bad. Like, I don't really understand what Shimano are gonna do in that OEM spec. Like, what are people gonna do? There's a price range where there's no group set that is good value for money from Shimano. Maybe they'll go for Camagnolo, but I don't really know. And that's, the, that's one of the most confusing things. And the other thing I wanna talk about is price. I think the price is absolutely unbelievable. Um, 1730 for a complete group set. Obviously, it, when you buy it yourself, you'll never pay 1730, but it gives you an indication of like how expensive the bike's gonna be coming. It's not gonna be like a one and a half K bike, one K bike. Um, one of my friends was saying like, a bike his girlfriend bought was a thousand pounds with 105. Like it's a CAD 10, I think, or CAD 12. No, CAD 12, a thousand pounds, 105. And you were like, the whole group set is worth more than that bike now, it's 1700. Like that's crazy. Um, so yeah, in conclusion, what are we going to say? I think 105 Di2 is not that good. I was very excited. I thought it'd be cheap. I thought it'd be good, functional. In reality, I don't know why you buy it. Like it just doesn't seem to make sense. It's so expensive that it's almost Altegra, but then it's obviously not as good at it. But then it's also like, so it's just, it fits a very odd price bracket that I don't quite understand. Obviously it's trying to compete against Rival, but I think for Shimano, they might actually lose a lot of their market to other people if, if anyone is innovative, innovative because there's a massive uh, gap in the market now unless Tiagra suddenly steps up significantly and becomes basically 105 R7000 R7, and that would be fine. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think about the new 105 Di2. I don't think it's as good as people are saying it is. I think in anything, it's a bit of a downgrade for consumers because if you want electronic, you haven't saved that much. But... If you want mechanical, you want rim brake, you now don't have that, which I think is a massive loss for the price point, which we're talking about um, for 105 bikes. So anyway, cheers for watching, hope you enjoy. Let me know your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next one.